hello everyone welcome to my channel in today's video lesson we are going to create this pattern so in this pattern we have five rows and columns are varying from 1 to 5 the red line on the left indicate the number of spaces from the left side of the stars so that we can form the pattern like pyramid but this pattern is different from the pattern we have seen in the last video so let's get started double click on turbo c icon on the desktop to start turbo c id is open now select new from the file menu to create new file first of all i am going to draw our pattern in comment One star, two stars, three stars, four stars, and five stars. So here number of rows equal to 5 and number of calls equal to vary from 1 to 5. Okay, so let's begin. Void main opening brace in this program we need two variables which controls the inner and outer loop say i and j and we need extra variable to control the spaces in this pattern so spaces this is the third variable CLRS here. Now going to write external for loop for i equal to 1, i less than or equal to 5, i plus plus. Controls number of rows in our pattern okay now inner loop but before writing inner loop we need one extra loop which controls these spaces in the pattern first of all more spaces are there consider we have 10 spaces in between star and left side and gradually the spaces are in decreasing order that is if we have 10 spaces in the first line then in the second line we have 9 and in the third line we have 8 and in the fourth line we have 7 and so on so for spaces for spaces equal to 1 spaces less than or equal to 50 minus i spaces plus plus Okay, printf space. Okay, now 
printing stars for j equal to 1 j less than or equal to i this is the variable because we have varying spaces from 1 to 5 in rows so j plus plus printf star one space okay after printing a row we need program is finished now get ch saving the program name it as pattern 3 dot c compile the program to make sure that everything is ok alt f9 program is ok run the program and you can see the desired output on the screen spaces are more so we can control them from this loop say 30 minus i control f9 ok or we can say 35 minus i i think it's ok now so it's time to go through it let us see how our program works so we have outer loop inner loop 1 which control spaces inner loop 2 print stars and output ok so when the value of i equal to 1 we have 35 minus i spaces in first line so 34 spaces draw 34 spaces on the screen that is 35 minus i but the value of i is 1 in this case so 34 spaces inner loop will print only one star because the inner loop is converted into for j equal to 1 j less than or equal to i but the value of i is 1 here so j equal to 1 j less than or equal to 1 j plus plus so definitely this loop will execute one time so it will print only one star along with spaces say here instead of spaces if we write another character like dot then we can easily see how spaces controls the stars and form the pyramid pattern
so let's have a look instead of printing this space I am writing dot here and rerun the program so you can see number of varying dots from row 1 to row 5 in row 1 more dots are there and in row 2, row two there are less dots than top row ok now again after completion of loop the value of i will be 2 in the outer loop draw 33 spaces on the screen that is 35 minus 2 or loop is converted into for j equal to 1 j less than equal to i but the value of i is 2 now so this loop will print 2 stars on the screen In this way, for i equal to 3, the program draws 32 spaces on the screen that is 35 minus 3 and this for loop is converted into j equal to 1, j less than equal to 3. So it will print 3 stars on the screen. In this way for i equal to 4 and for i equal to 5 draw 31 spaces that is 35 minus 4 the loop is converted into for j equal to 1 j less than or equal to 4 so we have 4 stars on the screen and at last for i equal to 5 it draws 30 spaces on the screen that is 35 minus 5 30 this loop is converted into for j equal to 1 j less than or equal to 5 j plus plus so we have 5 stars in this line And when the value of i equal to 6, the program terminates. So, this is how our program works. That's all for this video lesson. If you have any question or suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section below. In the next video lesson, we will see how we can create number pattern in C. Till then, bye. Thanks for watching.